Okay, so the difference is we go back to this example again. The actual cost is $73,000, and we were able to predetermine a rate, allocate a portion of indirect costs to each and every job, add them together. This cost is 67600 the portion that we actually assign to jobs. So the part that we missed, $5,400, is the part that we under-allocated. Now we want to assign these costs all together to cost of goods sold at once. When it comes to year end, we calculate the actual cost, compare it against the cost that we assign. Differences we adjusted to cost of goods sold account. Okay, so how do we do this? This is what the entry looks like. If it's under allocated, that means we assign two less costs, so we want to increase cost of goods sold expense account. So we would debit cost of goods sold, and then the part, because of under allocation, the credit side is two less. We credit additional 5,400 altogether. So basically, we're closing out manufacturing account, manufacturing overhead account. So theoretically, we're hoping that the predetermined rate multiply all the machine hours that incurred along the year will give us the same number as $73,000. That's our goal. But at the end of the year, most likely we'll be missing a few thousand dollars or a few hundred dollars. So the difference is we increase cost of goods sold expense altogether if it's under allocation. Okay, because this is still a cost of doing business that we didn't consider earlier. This entry here is a case for over allocation. If we allocated too much in e each of these job orders, we take some of the costs back. So we reduce cost of goods sold expense account. Flip over the situation of under allocation. Okay, this is a year end adjusting entries. Remember in financial accounting, you also learn a lot of different inventory adjusting entries. Inventory shrinkage. If there is missing inventory, how do we adjust it? Usually we also adjust it by cost of goods sold. So the same theory of how we do adjustments for the topics you cover, being covered in financial accounting. Manufacturing side, if we have under allocation, over allocation, we also adjust cost of goods sold at year end altogether. Questions? Yes. No, we just directly adjust this part at the end. Okay, because this part we already assigned, we reduce this part, the portion, whatever that turns into finished goods, right? Then this part we transfer to finished goods, and then a portion of that gets sold to customer. So we just adjust all together at the end, the very last category. Okay.